Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. Today we have another collab video. This is an aquatic theme collab, like that last one we had a citrus theme. This one is a aquatic theme, right? So I gathered some clips from I think around six reviewers to help me in this review. And in between them, I'm gonna be sharing my own picks as well. Now before we get started, I realized very, very quickly how little amount of aquatic fragrances I have in my collection. I guess aquatics are really not my thing. Like I like some of them, but most of them tend to smell very, very similar. That's why I'm super picky with aquatics, I guess. I only have five. I literally have just enough to make this video. And even then one of them is considered, it might not be considered a full aquatic. So with that being said, let's get started with the first reviewer. Hello everybody, it is such a pleasure to be on Timmy's channel once again. My name is Yana and I am from the channel Tomolis. As a true lover of indie perfumery for today's video, I picked Amongst Waves by the American indie perfume house Galaka Fragrances because it is not a typical aquatic perfume. There is this unexpected fruity twist of a melon going on and that reminds of cocktails that you're drinking with your friends at the beach because there is also salty ocean breeze going on and it projects miles away and I love it on men, even though it can be pulled off by a woman too. All right, so my first choice, let's get this one out of the way first, because this one I don't consider a full aquatic. This one is called Virgin Island Water by Creed. Now this one is more tropical than anything else. It has rum, it has citruses, it has coconut. It's just an overall very tropical scent. It does have some watery aquatic quality to it, but not, not so much. But this one does come close to what you would call aquatic. If you think of tropical type vacation fragrance as close to being aquatic, this one is close to one. It's not fully, but it works. One thing I really enjoy about Virgin Island Water is how fun it smells. It just smells so fun, so outgoing, so outdoorsy. Also at the same time, so relaxing as well because again you're on a tropical island you're enjoying your vacation you're sitting under the sun there's music and parties going on that way and there's spas and beach massage on the other side so it's like a combination of just an overall vacation fun fragrance and not a lot of fragrances can give up a vibe quite like that so that's one thing i really love about virgin island water is that every time i do wear it it feels amazing one problem i have with it is that i don't wear it enough there's not a lot of good times where i feel like i want to wear it but when i do it is a very very fun fragrance and one that i super enjoy having in my collection i'm not going to ever get rid of this because on vacation to a tropical island you can bet i'm bringing virgin island water Agnes Eva here and I have a beautiful salty woody aquatic for you today which I have enjoyed a lot during this huge heat wave we had here in Germany. It's Lo Major Dissé Shade of Sea. This is a beautiful fragrance which opens with bitter orange, bergamot and rosemary and it dries down to salty frangipani, cedarwood, sandalwood and ambergris. And it gives you the feeling of vacation in the Caribbean and I can't be without it when it's hot outside. Next up, we have a very obvious aquatic that's gonna make any aquatic list. This one is Aqua Di Gio Profumo. It literally has the word aqua in the name. And this one is a legend, not much to be said about it. I wore the original Aqua Di Gio when I was in college, loved it. Everyone around me loved it, but I did notice that everyone was also wearing the same one. So I quickly stopped wearing Aqua Di Gio because I literally smelled like every other guy inside the bar. Aqua Di Gio Profumo is an improvement over the original in terms of everything. Longevity, much, 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 much longer. The original lasts around four hours. This one lasts around seven hours. So big improvement, almost double the performance of the original one. The scent is also more refined, more modern. There's incense. It's not so classic and citrus and simple as the first one. This one added on the incense and patchouli to make it more modernized, more appealing, and also adds a nice masculine vibe to the overall scent as well. So love for Aqua Di Gio Perfumo. If you haven't checked this one out yet, for some odd reasons, you should. Hi everyone, my favorite aquatic is from 4160 Tuesdays, and it's called What I Did on My Holidays, and it conjures up a traditional English seaside holiday. You have the sea notes, you've got coconut from your suntan lotion, vanilla ice cream, mint rock and some lavender as well. It's really interesting. It's definitely a gourmand take on an aquatic. It's fresh yet sweet at the same time. Really nice fragrance. This next one is actually my scent of the day and this is from the House of Sillage. This one is House of Sillage number three in the men's collection and it smells just so so good. I'm starting to really really enjoy House of Sillage. I want to own more of their fragrances. 
Oh, because it just smells so wearable. They're very, very wearable. They're like Creed in terms of versatility and wearability. A lot of their fragrances are just really, really nice. While Creed leans more towards the super fresh and mass appealing side, House of Sea Ice lean more towards the gentleman and classic side. And this aquatic is no different. This is a really nice, clean, salty sea-ish type of fragrance with a really nice gentlemanly vibe. The citrus here, very muted, the aquatic vibes, very subdued. There's some saltiness, some salty sea air that really lingers around for a long time in this fragrance and it smells just absolutely stunning. I love when a brand has their own theme and they stick to their own theme. This brand being gentlemanly and they do that so, so well. Much like Prada do clean fragrances really well, Creed do fresh fragrances really well. This brand do gentlemanly fragrance really, really well. And this one is so, so good. I love having it. I just got it and I I highly recommend you guys go and check this one out. Again, this is House of Sillage number three. Hi Timmy, hi everyone. The fragrance that I've chosen for today's topic is called Limpera 3 by Dolce & Gabbana. This is a beautiful aquatic and fruity scent that has notes of kiwi, watermelon, rhubarb and also musk. It reminds me of holidays, of hot summer days drinking mocktails. Please check out this amazing fragrance. I think it's a great choice. All right, next fragrance we have from all the way in Australia. This one is Pacific Rock Moss by Goldfield and Banks. I almost said by Demi Rowling. Because <laughs> I remember, dude, the only, the, every time I think of this fragrance, I think of Demi Rowling because she's the one who kind of brought this thing to the attention. She blew it up also with her channel at the time too. Blew up her channel and blew up this fragrance all at the same time. It was quite a fun time in the fragrance community. There was a lot of memes going on and everything, but this is a really, really good scent. I vouch for it a lot. I use it, my girlfriend uses it. It's just a really nice, refreshing, aquatic summery scent it's just so good mass appealing pleasing i'm actually going to show you a clip of my friend describing what this fragrance reminds her of and it fits really really well so here we go this one i would wear at a pool you would wear at a pool for sure well not me but like the guy mm -hmm. not for a girl i don't think this would okay. be for a girl definitely for a guy for a lifeguard a lifeguard yeah okay what was your, what's your of, rating i just think of like a pool or like water I like this a lot for like the water, the summertime. so like nine. 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 nine, all right. It's a beachy, summery, almost lifeguard type of guy fragrance. So that's what it is and I totally agree with her. So Pacific Rock Moss, if you haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. I think you can find it on Lucky Scent or something. I'll link all the fragrances down below so you guys can easily find it. Hi guys, I'm Phil from the channel Dr. Fragrance and I want to give a shout out to Timmy for having me on his channel today. And I'm going to be talking to you about my favorite aquatic fragrance. Aquatica by Jean-Marc Parfums. Now this is an inspiration of the classic aquatic fragrance by Creed, and that's Arolfa. And this is just such a beautiful fragrance. It has this really beautiful, fresh sea breeze, sailing on the Mediterranean kind of vibe. It's very uplifting. It makes me feel very, very free and alive. And that's really why I love this fragrance so much. This one is probably the most artistic aquatic fragrance out there in the world right now. This one is called Albatross. When you think of aquatic fragrance, you think of fresh, you think of salty sea air, you think of maybe a little bit of a tropical vibe, but this one is deep blue sea, the deep ocean, the mysteriousness, there's darkness, there's woodiness in this fragrance that really brings out that mysterious, deep, unexplored sea vibe. Almost like a pirate ship, as Pete from Fragrance View would have said. It's just so mysterious, dark and blue, watery, and almost like a raw force of nature in the aquatic world. It's such a masterpiece of an artistic fragrance that I love every time I smell it. I love so much every time I smell it. And it even has the note of cork. It used the note of cork to replicate kind of like a message in a bottle type of thing or an old wine bottle, rum bottle that you think you would find on a pirate ship. So it really replicates everything that has to do with the deep blue ocean. And I absolutely adore this one. If you haven't checked out Albatross yet, definitely, definitely should. It is expensive, so it's not for just anyone, but it is for the connoisseur. So if you're a connoisseur of fine scents, Albatross is a good one for you to try out. What is going on? You know who it is, the one, the only S to the O. And today my favorite aquatic is Davidoff Cool Water. To me, this one is a really, really nice scent. It has so many memories, it's legendary. It, it, 
it will always be on from here to generations to come 80s 90s 2000 and so on if you haven't tried this out is a great cheapy is a great alternative to git a really unique scent favorite aquatic if you haven't tried it out let me know to me so many memories that i can't forget and as always wear what you want buy what you want thanks timmy for having me all right that's it for this video today thank you to all reviewers that join in in this big collab thank you so much i appreciate all of you guys and with that being said check out all their channel link below and i'll see you guys next time peace Bye. Shadow turns to sun